Welcome to Getting Started with Web Courses at UCF. I'm Janana Costa, and I am the Web Courses at UCF Support Supervisor at the Center for Distributed Learning. The audience for this workshop are faculty teaching face-to-face -face courses who need to quickly get prepared to deliver their courses online for the next couple of weeks. It is not intended to replace the professional development requirements to get credentialed to teach online courses. Understanding that faculty are required to post their syllabus and grades in web courses at UCF and may already be familiar with some of the basics, we are going to start with the assumption that the audience is not using the learning management system on a regular basis. The first thing we're going to do is access web courses at UCF. Go to webcourses.ucf.edu and log in with your NID and NID password. Click on the link in the dashboard to access your course. Once you access your course, check on the right hand side on the course status to see whether or not it is published. Your course will not be accessible to your students until it is published. You can go ahead and publish your course now or you can publish it once you've added all the content you would like. Your next step is to choose your home page. This will set the home page that your students will see each time they access your course. Click the Choose Home Page button. We recommend setting the home page as the course activity stream. This will show students all of the recent activity in the course, and it would be the most helpful for them when they access the course for the first time. With regard to communicating with your students, I wanted to point your attention to the inbox. This is the conversations tool, and you may find um, that you already have messages from your students here. The first thing we recommend doing is posting an announcement for your students. Click on the announcements button in the navigation menu. Click the add announcement button and go ahead and type a title and the body of your announcement. You do have the option to delay the posting until a particular date, so you can do that. Or if you'd like to just go ahead and post it now, click Save and your announcement will be sent to your students. Students may be notified of your announcement. This will depend upon their notification settings and web courses at UCF, but by default, most students will likely be receiving announcement notifications either um, by email, um, through the app, or through a text message. You'll notice on the home page that the announcement that I just created and one that I created earlier have already shown up on the uh, recent activity stream. As soon as your students access the course, this is the home page that they will see. You will most likely have PowerPoint presentations or other documents that you want to share with your students. The files area is in, in your course is where you would upload um, content like this. So you would click on the upload button and then find the content on your computer that you would like to upload and click open. You may also use announcements to link to specific files that you want your students to access. Click add announcement to create your announcement. In the body of your announcement, click on files and find the file that you want to share with your students. Once you click on this link, a link will be added to your announcement text. Click Save to save your announcement, and students can easily access the file that you need them to see by going to the announcement and clicking on the link. Another option is that you may record your lectures. Tools are available to do that, and they will be presented in a separate recording. Students are going to access this course and wonder what you want them to do. Creating assignments is the easiest way to give students that information and for you to grade their work. Let's go ahead and access the assignments page. Click add assignment to create a new assignment. Add a title and a description. Then you'll want to specify the number of points this assignment will be worth and what type of submission students will do. The most common is um, either text entry or file upload.
go ahead and set all of these settings as you see fit and make sure that you click Save and Publish when you're ready for students to be able to access the assignment. As soon as you've created an assignment, you'll notice that a gradebook column will be created for that assignment. This is where you can go and input grades for your students. And when they click on uh, their grades, they'll see any grades or feedback that you've left for them. We also recommend using discussions. To create a discussion, click on Add Discussion. You can decide whether or not this discussion will be graded. If this is something that will be graded um, or for credit, make sure that you select Graded. Then you will be prompted to enter the points possible. When you're done with the settings, make sure to click Save and Publish. You may also want to create some low stakes quizzes for your students. This may help to keep them engaged or this can help you deliver um, a quiz that you would normally deliver face to face and go ahead and put it in web courses at UCF. To create a quiz, you may use Respondus or you may create it manually in Web Courses at UCF. To create it in Web Courses at UCF, click Add Quiz. Give your quiz a name. Add instructions. There are a lot of setting options here that you can set as you see fit. And then you will click on questions and add new question to create questions in your quiz. Once you have done that, make sure you click update question. And once you're done with the quiz, make sure you click save and publish. You'll notice on the home page that more items have been added to the recent activity stream. This should definitely help students to find what they need to do and to help keep them on track. Once you've created any graded items, you'll notice that they also show up in the gradebook. This is where you can input grades for your students. You can also use the speed grader to grade your students, and you can go to speed grader from the gradebook, or you can go to the specific assignment page and click on SpeedGrader to access SpeedGrader. SpeedGrader will show you all of your students' submissions so that you can get to them easily and input grades. You'll notice on your navigation menu that there are a lot of links. As an instructor, you can control which links appear in the course navigation. Web Courses at UCF includes a set of default course navigation links that are shown by default. These items that have this visibility icon next to them indicate that there is no content in those sections and that they are not visible to students. If you would like to hide any other uh, course navigation links from your students, click on Settings and go to the Navigation tab. Here, you can enable and disable different links. You can do so by clicking on the three dots and clicking Disable. Or you can drag an item from the enabled list to the disabled list, and this will hide them from students. If you make any of these navigation changes, be sure to click Save at the bottom of the screen. If at any point you want to see what your course looks like to your students, click on Student View.